Welcome back. In this video, I will talk about all the lipid lowering agents for your step 1 exam, including statins, fibrates, cholesterol resins, all of them. First, we'll have to memorize the lipid profiles, and I've put them here in a very simple way. These are very important. Don't go to your exam without memorizing them. And let's start with the most famous and most important lipid lowering agent, statins. Some people call them statins, I just call them statins. These are the medications ending with a suffix statin. And they work by inhibiting the HMG coenzyme reductase, which normally makes cholesterol. It's a lipid lowering agent, so we use it to decrease lipid profile if it was very high. But most importantly, we use it as a secondary prevention for all patients with coronary artery diseases, regardless of their lipid profile. Remember, secondary prevention means that we use it after the symptoms occur, because primary prevention is the use before symptoms occur. The most important side effects are hepatotoxicity and myopathy. They cause muscle damage, especially when used with fibrates or niacin. So before prescribing statins, make sure to look for the liver function test and CK levels. Next we have fibrates. These are the medications ending with the suffix fibrate. They work by stimulating the PPAR alpha gene, which synthesizes HDL. They also increase the lipoprotein lipase, which clears triglycerides. So we use fibrates in patients with high triglyceride levels. The most important side effect is that they cause cholesterol gallstones. They do that by inhibiting cholesterol hydroxylase, which normally makes bile, which normally decreases gallstones. Next we have niacin or vitamin B3. And it works by inhibiting the hormone sensitive lipase, which inhibits lipolysis, which decreases free fatty acid release. It mainly decreases VLDL. The side effects for niacin are very important. It causes flushing, which increases by drinking hot liquids like coffee, and decreases by long-term use or in SAIDs. It also increases uric acid in the blood, and increases glucose in the blood as well. Next we have bile acid resins. These are the medications starting with coli. They are sometimes referred to as cationic exchange resins, so don't get confused if you say that. From the name we can get the function, they are resins, so they inhibit the bile acid reabsorption in the small intestine. Normally this bile acid will be reabsorbed back into the liver and reused again and again. So once we inhibit the reuse, the liver will have to make new bile acid by using cholesterol. And that's how it lowers cholesterol. They're mainly used to decrease LDLs, but they can increase triglyceride. These medications will inhibit the reabsorption of all lipid soluble vitamins and medications because they depend on the reabsorption of bile acid. And finally, we have the PCSK9 inhibitors. These are antibodies, so they're going to end with the suplex MAB. And they prevent the degradation of the LDL receptor in the liver. So the LDL receptor will keep taking more and more LDL from the blood. And that's why they're mainly used as an LDL decreasing agent. The main side effect is CNS symptoms. So look for delirium, confusion, dementia, etc.